Hello everybody, I'm Gil Butler, the Primal Chef, coming to you today with another recipe from the Bioptimizers Primal Paleo Cookbook. Now when you make a chocolate cake, maybe the one in the Primal Paleo Cookbook, there's a step where you have to trim off the top to make it flat. Now what do you do with all those crumbs? Do not throw them away, because I'm gonna show you an amazing other dessert you can turn it into using those crumbs, and that is cake truffles. Yes, we're gonna take something that looks like it would be waste and turn it into something fancier than the cake itself. So, here's what you'll need. Dark chocolate or keto approved chocolate, a cup of chocolate cake crumbs, coconut milk, vanilla, and some keto approved sprinkles. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We have a pot with a little bit of water on the stove that's at a boil, and we're gonna throw in our chocolate in a heat proof bowl on top to create a double boiler just so that we can melt this chocolate. And it will happen pretty quick. You can see that the chocolate is already starting to melt. We have a little bit of time here, so I'm gonna even just turn it down and just let it really slowly melt. While we're doing that, we're gonna throw our cake truffle mix into a mixing bowl. And then we have another bowl with a quarter cup of coconut milk, and we're gonna add to it a teaspoon of vanilla. Don't forget about your chocolate. You're gonna have to come back and make sure it's not over melting. Just move it around. All right, now we're going to whisk these two things together. All right, so we have our coconut milk and vanilla, and now I'm just going to pour it over our cake crumbs, just a little at a time. Mix it up, a little at a time, mix it up. You can pour it all in there. And the idea is we want it to be gooey enough that we can then pick it up and form little balls out of it. About the size of a ping pong ball. Press it. Roll it, and then you can just stick it on a sheet tray or on a plate for now. All right, so those are ready to go. I'm gonna keep melting my chocolate. And pull it off, mix it around. The bowl's hot, so you might need a rag. Okay, so we have our cake truffles rolled into our ping pong balls. They gotta be really cold. So chill them if they're feeling a little bit room temperature or warm, you gotta have them cold. We have our melted chocolate, and now we're just going to try to cover these in chocolate as best as we can. Toss them around in there. Be really gentle, you don't want it to fall apart. And then throw it on the sheet tray. And have your sprinkles ready because this chocolate's gonna harden quick and you don't have very long to add it. So look for, these are keto approved sprinkles. They have no food coloring in them, made from all natural ingredients. So it's a perfect option. Okay, I'm gonna keep going with these other ones. It's a messy job, that's why I'm wearing gloves. On there, and sprinkles. We're doing three to four. We got our sprinkles on there, melted chocolate. It's gonna harden up, so we're gonna put them back in the fridge. It's gonna have like a really cool shell on it where you bite into it, and you're gonna have kind of multiple layers with sprinkles, chocolate, and cake. Super moist. Go back onto a plate, back into the fridge, just for another five, 10 minutes or so. And then these are done. What do you think? A lot better than throwing these away. Started as just trim off of a cake turn it into something great that you can put out on a party, on a big platter. You could even stick a skewer into them, make some sort of cake pop. The options are endless. So here they are, we're gonna let them chill and then give them a taste. Okay, so our cake truffles went in the freezer to cool off, you know, just about 10 minutes or so, just to harden up that chocolate that we had dipped in it. And now we just get to taste it. Wow. Super moist cake. Remember, this was just trim that we were gonna throw away. It has now turned into this. It's so good. 
crunchy, hardened chocolate on top, and then keto approved, all natural, no food coloring sprinkles. Super good. Mm. Anyway, you can find this recipe in the Primal Paleo Cookbook from Bioptimizers, so look for it along with many others. I'm Gil Butler, The Primal Chef. Find me online at theprimalchef.com or Instagram, the underscore primal chef. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.